everyone, today I wanted to quickly talk about this uh, float by mowing device, how I think of it and what I recommend it for people that, you know, have a older home that is probably have an older pipe that's either you don't know if it's about to burst or you think that while your water belt so high, this device will definitely save you money and for repairing though and that kind of stuff. So let's get to it and let's um, start with the insulation. The insulation is fairly easy. I did it all by myself, but flow, Float by Mullen does recommend you install this by a professional, but it will cost you 400, give and take $400 for this device to install uh, with the uh, you know, labor. But the device itself costs 500 at lows. So, but anyway, I got it for $399, so that's cheaper than Lowe's. But anyway, so uh, installation is pretty easy, straightforward. I use a shark bite to push connect and then tied it with those knots that included with it. And this, um, the um, connector over here does use a plastics, as you can see. And over here is a well, so plastic to metal. And there is a gasket to keep the water tight. And over here you can see it's a shark bite. And this one also require a power. So power, it will be a uh, two prompt power as you can see right there what I have over there so keep that in mind and so this device also requires internet but it does work offline so but it will you will not be able to use a smartphone to control it but um but there is a lot of video out there that talks about the app you can also look it up in the app store the app uh, it's very straightforward it tells you everything and what you need to know such as PSI, so that's pressure per minute or something like that, or flow rate. So, and then the temperature. So whenever this device get to negative or not negative, uh, 19 degrees will send you a notification called freeze alert. So I actually did receive that in my um, notification on my app. So I do be able to say that I personally used it. So when it's freezing, as long as the pipe isn't freezing, and as long as you're using it, uh, you'll be fine. But if this is a rental property and you receive that alert, you better go make sure the water is off and make sure all the fixture is open. So if there is a ice expansion, it won't be so costly. Um, not many of you guys might want to do that just because, you know, but it's nice to have this at a rental property if you use like your house for a vacation house or something like that. But even for like um, as a landlord is have a peace of mind to knowing that when you are when the pipe bursts, you can go repair or, you know, something like that. Because if you see constant flow rate, that's not right. That's, you know, nobody, you know, at that point, you better go shut off the water or investigate. But anyway. Enough of that, and let's talk about um, how I like about the customer service. I talk to customer service multiple times. I have no problem with them, and they're so far very nice about it. And they have they've pretty much solved any issue that I have with well, not any issue, but like any question that I have about this device. So, so their customer service are pretty good. Um, they get they pretty much. Um, walk you through the process if you need something and the other thing is the um, the app the app worked on both Android and iPhone that's those two platforms you could use it on the website such as Google Chrome but that's mainly designed for um, app use so and the other thing is um, you can also link this to ring alarm system I personally have it I'm a ring fan and so Whenever you link this with a Ring account, you can use Ring app to turn off the water and turn back on the water with this device. Um, if you set your alarm to away mode, this does not go to away mode itself yet. I do hope that Float does implement that. So whenever you go set alarm to away mode, the system will automatically think, oh, there's nobody at home. So we are going to set this to away. Still is 
uh, home or sleep. So that's another thing that you can do in Flow application. That'll be something that I want to see in the future. Um, this does not work um, Google work with Google Assistant. Does not work with Amazon A. It work. It had the skill, but you can't really do much with it. Uh, it's not really useful. You can't say Mrs. A turn off the water or turn off the water main. That'd be cool, but it doesn't. Um, the other thing is you do get a notification on your email uh, t telling you how much each week you use the water wise, how much water you use per week and how much water you have used the month. And that information kind of come handy. For me, it doesn't because we, in the city that I live, which is Ohio, they bill every three months for the water. So you kind of hard to know, hard to track uh, how much water you use and that, all of that stuff. So yeah, it's going to be a little bit harder for that. And the other thing is this device uh, do need a Wi-Fi connection and I have a Orbi that is kind of far from this. So it can't kind of go offline frequently, but when it does go offline, you will get an email alert. And that is very cool because you can go up to the internet service provider say, hey, my winter, my internet went out at such and such time and I need make sure that I get the prorated credit that I wasn't able to use my internet. So this is kind of like another way to save you money Use, because there is internet service provider that's reliable, but I will not say a name because the name that I use is not really good, but it does the job and it is cheap. So, but anyway, uh, enough that. So you get notification when this device offline, online, and it never, it just, that's it. Uh, water usage, how much gallons you use. Uh, also freeze alert, I mentioned that and I also mentioned high flow rate um, and also um, unusual activity and so that's basically it. So that's basically it. Uh, all my three months for using this device and after you install it uh, the excitement kind of uh, go down but at the same time you kind of keep it, your email active and you just read the email and if there's no more issue you kind of just go into the app or go into your um, go to the basement look for the leak somewhere so basically that's kind of like a treasure hunting and for me I like really like this device and I have no problem with it and is it worth $400 for me yes because I rather not have to pay to fix the water damage because those are very costly and those devices actually save me once um, because uh, when I would, whenever I was installing the faucet, I did not install it right, and so whenever I turn it on, there's a leak, and so I didn't know until later, and I opened the thing and it's like, and then this thing didn't, this thing sent me a notification. I ignored it, so that was on my part. But it wasn't like it wasn't like one hour, two hour leak. It was like thirty minute, so it was my fault. But this did did catch it, the high usual float rate. So that is very good thumbs up. And I personally recommend it. If you could afford it, do it. If don't, if you don't, or if you couldn't, just keep eye on the plumbing in your system. And I'm sure many of you guys have, as a homeowner, have experienced a leak in your house at some point of life. So that's basically it. And I will see you guys next time. Peace out.